Hey guys, today I'm going to be demonstrating on how to do some creative eyeshadow uh, with a cut crease. The first thing you're going to need for my look that I did here today is just an eye pencil and I'm using the color blue. I'm using it as like a little bit of a liner. So I cut the crease and I'm shading in my eyelid with a baby pink color. I'm blending this sugar pill eyeshadow called Darling in and then I'm using white like right underneath where I had cut the crease just to give it more of a little bit of a dramatic cut. And the infamous eyeliner. I left this in slow motion because I wanted you to see like I start off thin and depending on what eye like eyeshadow, eyelashes, um, how dramatic I want my eyes really depends on the variation of my liner. I'm using a liquid waterproof liner from Stella today. I've been really into gels lately, but I wanted to show you guys just a different type of eyeliner, um, which I love because my eyes water a lot and this will not run at all, which is pretty awesome. And now I'm just getting my desired look with my liner. And I'll also touch it up a little bit after I put my lashes on too. But so far that looks pretty good. I always do my waterline with a white tone or like an off-white. I like it to look really dramatic. You know, I already have pretty big eyes. But I really like them to be open and, you know, give you just that more dramatic feel. And then I've also blended in my sugar pill under eye a little bit to give it an effect. Doing lashes now. And the other one kind of giving you a closer effect. I did a little lash video a couple weeks ago. So if you guys just want to see something you know, just focusing on lashes. You guys should watch that one too. Now this is just my basic contouring. And I'm using this amazing blending brush from MAC. This has become my favorite thing. I thought the Beauty Blender was going to be my number one, but this like kicks it out of the water. So if you haven't tried these brushes yet, oh, the glide and just how soft they feel on your skin is just amazing. And this is typical lifestyle on, with me, my husband and my daughter <laughs> climbing on me while I'm trying to do makeup and hair. So I decided to leave that in the video because, you know, that's real life. And then I decided for um, my eyelid, I wanted my color to be a little bit more shimmery. So I'm just going over it with a little bit of a loose pigment to give it some shimmer. And then also in the inner corner of my eye, it's that same color, just to, you know, make it pop a little bit. And for my brows, I wanted to kind of match my hair tone. So I'm going to just use the soft pink. It's kind of a mauve color, so it has some brownish tones that kind of blend in my natural eyebrows with it. I guess as natural as you can get with pink eyebrows, right? <laughs> and then I'm doing a pink gloss as well. And here's a close-up of my eye. I love teals and pinks together. And I think with the white cut crease, it really like sets it off. I hope you guys like this video. Please like and subscribe. Have a wonderful day. Bye.